Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Eko Simpson. If this is your first time of checking out my YouTube channel, you know what to do. Kindly subscribe to this channel. We've already gotten 2 million views already, and then we have 17,000 people, you know, following and, you know, engaging and everything. So, and I want to appreciate you watching me right now for subscribing and for being part of this 2 million views that we have attained. Fast forward, let me ask you, if you're a Ghanaian and you're watching this video, maybe you've been to Ghana and you've learned a little bit of our culture, I want to ask you, which clan do you belong to? I think I belong to the Ibrazi clan. Yes, so we have Ibrazi, we have Kona, we have Ansona, we have a lot of, we have seven clans within the Akan system here in Ghana. Yes, so in the Akan system, on the Ghanaian system, everybody belongs to a certain clan. And like I said, we have seven clans. So you, you can't say you don't belong to any clan. In our family, in our clan setup, we have about seven, sometimes eight, depending on your area. And our family is the Anona. Anona is the name of the family. The totem of the family or the symbol of the family is the parrot. Yes, we say the parrot, even if they don't go to school, they are very fluent, they are very eloquent. So that is a family and that is a totem. You must definitely belong to one clan. I think mine is a Brazil. I'm, I'm throwing a challenge to my dad. I remember my mom, my grandmom was like, yeah, I'm in this kind of clan, but you know, when we are growing up, learning and thinking that we've seen all that we have to see, sometimes we want to neglect some of these things. But I'm asking my dad, Kofi Drama Simpson, if you're watching this video, put it up as a comment and tell me the clan we belong to. I'll be very glad to learn about my clan. And maybe when brothers and sisters are coming to Ghana, I can easily direct them to our clan, you know, be part of the beautiful clan, and then we will move from there. Now, here in Ghana, I've already told you that, apart from the political positions, most of us are being manned by traditional areas. Now, a traditional area is a group of people who have come together to accept the fact that they come from one certain ancestor, all right? And basically, these people are sometimes the founders of the area we find ourselves. So here in Ugwa traditional area, where I belong, where I am from Cape Coast, where we celebrate the biggest festival in the first week of September every year. So I'm telling you that if you're coming to Ghana this year, 2022, 2023, 2024, go and think of coming to my region, central region of Ghana, and celebrate the beautiful festival Ugwa Fetu Afasha with us. Yes, yeah, so like I mentioned, every community is being manned by a chief or a king. A chief or a king. Aside that, there is one beautiful lady that also helps with the administration of, you know, the council, where we call the queen mother. Depending on the traditional council, we may have a paramount queen mother or just a queen mother for a specific area. But here in the central region of Ghana, Ugwa traditional council to be precise, we have a paramount chief and a paramount queen mother. So when you hear paramount, then it means that there are other communities with chiefs under the bigger umbrella. That is why we have the paramount chief. And here in Ogwa, we call him Osaberima Kwesi Atta II. Osaberima Kwesi Atta II, the paramount chief of Ogwa traditional area or council. Like I mentioned, we also have one beautiful lady who also helps with administration of whatever goes on here. But unfortunately for us, here in Cape Coast, in Central Region, we lost our long-lasting queen mother. So she passed on, joined her ancestors, and intermediating between us and the God and the bigger God in 2019. So definitely there was a vacant place for us to fill. Now, here in Cape Coast, I told you that the first settlers of Ogwa becomes the royal family. And here, there's a family called the Abochi family, the Abochi family. They are the people that instill, they pick and instill chiefs and queen mothers. So this family can also be found in the Ibrazif Kesim clan here in the central region or here in Cape Coast. So fast forward, uh, when we realized that there was a vacant 
you know, for us to pick another beautiful, knowledgeable woman to also help with administration of Ogwa Traditional Council. The Abochi family came up with the name Nana Ekua Abochi the Sick. Yes. Why do we say she's the same? Because the previous one that has joined her ancestors was called Nana Ikua Abuchi the Fit. So per the name that you pick and per the position or the lineage where we've got into as at that time, that is where your, your the number is added to your name. So Nana Ikua Abuchi the Sit is now the new and stood paramount queen mother of Ogwa Traditional Council. And this is so beautiful, the event was held two days ago in Papratem. When we say Papratem, Papratem is a sacred place where the gods are kept here in Ogwa. And let me tell you that in Central Region or in Cape Coast, we have 77 lesser gods. Yes, 77 lesser gods. So there's this kind of protection you know, from the lesser gods, yes. And when you go to the castle, if you've been to the castle before, you realize that when you get to the male dungeon, getting closer to the second main male dungeon, there is a god in there. So when you go, there's a fetish priest. I know anytime I use the word fetish priest, I have people attacking the word. For me, I mean, saying that I shouldn't be using the word fetish priest because it's a word from the slave masters. Mind you that when growing up, going to school and all that, some of these words have been used frequently, and it's on our lips, okay? So sometimes when we are making uh, speech or when we are making references, we normally use it, and then we come back to our senses and say, okay, maybe we have to rephrase it. So when you hear me say fetish priest, don't be too annoyed with it. Don't be too emotional with it, okay? So when you get there, you find a priest. Are we good? We find a priest there who would know Paul libation, pray to the gods, and thank the gods for your arrival and the motherland and then whatever you have to do. So the, this queen mother that has been instilled, she is residing in the United States of America. So she's, I think she's an assistant nurse or medical assistant in Maryland in the United States. So if you're in Maryland right now, hooray, one of your sisters uh, from, the, from the motherland is now the paramount queen mother of Oba traditional councils. So hey, this is what really happened at the celebration of the instalment of Nana Ikua Abochi Desit, the new queen mother of Oba traditional council. And don't forget to hit us, hit Echo Simpson when you're coming to Ghana Central Region in September, whatever month to come, let's celebrate Cape Coast together. Peace.